Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to channel 48. Thank you for tuning in on this Saturday. Well, this video is again about Android 14, but now, um, yeah, in fact, an upgrade. And for me, it will be a repair video um, because uh, I lost my system root partition in the twerp that we had on the A21S. And that happened after I flashed a way too big uh, GSI that was meant to be installed to system. I installed it to the super partition, the super system partition. Um, it did not boot, but of course, because the super uh, partition is relying on uh, as well uh, vendor system image and as well as Phoebe Meta, it's, it's depending on, on, on these three uh, uh, things. And yeah, so installing a normal GSI to, to the super partition will never ever work, okay? So after I rebooted back into Twerp, I saw that my system partition was gone. So how to fix that back? So how can I get my system partition back? Is it a matter of reflashing Twerp? No, won't help. Okay, uh, because uh, the official firmware will create that system root partition uh, after you created a patched PDA. I already created a patched PDA so you can easily download it. It's a download from four point something gigabyte. It's an image, it's a TAR file, it's a TAR file and you will be able to flash it with Odin. All right, so after that, then we're gonna install Twerp because Twerp cannot be installed before you install the patched AP. AP means, you know, the system partition of Android where it's all in. Um, so when that is done, you know, the, the, the patching of the AP uh, and you flashed it and you reboot back into Twerp and you flash Twerp, then in fact, you will have to work back but then you must still activate the system root partition and we're gonna do that by typing multi disabler in the um, in the command window that we can find in twerp yeah the terminal after we did that we're gonna reboot back into recovery and then we're gonna format uh, data reboot back into recovery and then we're gonna copy some tools including uh, the GSI to the phone. Now uh, for a little intermezzo I will as well uh, show the installing of Evolution X Android 14 first Evolution Android 14 build released by uh, Mystique. So we're gonna flash that one. Um, and see if it's gonna work on the S10. It could as well break the S10, so we're just gonna try it in this video. And I will show you the complete uh, procedure. If you have the A21S running official firmware Android 12, and you want to upgrade to Android 14, then this is the video that you can as well watch. I created one before, but that one was very long, and as well, uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. Uh, too much about the upgrade uh, but in this in this video uh, you're gonna find the easy upgrade to Android 14 and I try to not put too much things in in the video so you can easily get the right builds and you know successfully enjoy Android 14 uh, official release by Google but um, yeah GSI by Nippon on your uh, a21s so that's what this video is about sit back relax if you have this phone or maybe not and you're thinking of buying it then probably this video could help you a whole lot all right let me show you the problem uh, so if i hit install and I install, for instance, uh, an image. I don't have system image anymore. You see, I would have another option here 
system image, but it's gone. So I think I have to redo the complete thing. You see? Because the official firmware will then create that system partition again. And then we can activate it by typing multi-disabler. It's a complete process. All right, so um, let's reboot into download mode and see what's gonna happen. Maybe I must first flash the official. I don't know, but I as well have my patched build and I'm gonna try to flash that one immediately to see if that will work. Hey, stay, stay, no man. All right, blood clot form. This thing, in fact, pissed me off this morning because I was testing something. Okay, this is the patched uh, tar. It's loaded instantly. Let me see if I really got it in. Yes, it's in. All right. So let's see what's going to happen if I hit start. <coughs> okay, it's flashing. That's good to know. So we can use the patched tar um, immediately. Even if you are on custom room or you had twerp installed before. And you want to restore to stock or you did something stupid just like me you don't have to go and download the complete package from sam fw even though it comes in really fast again if you still have the patched uh, tar that i told you to keep close to you then you should as well be able to with one click go back or one click one install go back to official android 12 but then root it all right so when this is done and this is gonna reboot we must be quick and we're gonna immediately press volume up and volume down at the same time so we go back into a download mode copies so start putting your fingers here almost there user data Boom, and it's gonna reboot. Reboot, press volume down and volume up. And we are back into recovery. Okay, and now we're gonna flash reset AP. We're gonna flash twerp. There is a V2. I'm scared to flash it, man. I'm gonna go for the one that I know. I will see later. And now we're gonna flash this one. Volume up and power at the reboot. Volume up, power, let go. Unlocked state, and this should bring us into twerp. I hope. Gosh, no, 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 no. Oh my goodness, it's booting Samsung. It should not. I messed up. Now we must flash the twerp again. Volume down and volume down and volume up together. Wait for the charging sign. What for three double just man? Okay, there we go. And now we can press volume, volume down and volume up. 
empower oh no only volume up and volume down and then up and then we're gonna flash the this one again and at the reboot volume up and power and let go and you see the logo after one second and this should bring us into work there we go okay so let's see um we now gonna go ahead we go to advanced terminal and we type multi this abler oh this uh, this abler okay succeed system root is fixed reboot back into recovery Okay, our root partition is back, peeps. Kawa kernel is still available, so no worry about about it. And now we can uh, <laughs> now we can immediately install Android 14. Okay, my friends, I'm copying a Pixel 14 official release by Nippon to the phone the a21s the a217 and we're gonna go ahead and flash it for me it works very good so never select super image yeah? otherwise your system partition will be deleted and then you're gonna have the same problem that I got today. And that was a silly problem, but okay, we fixed it. The fix was easy, but we did need uh, needed the, the patched AP that I created for you a while ago when showing you the upgrade of this phone, how to do it. And uh, this is how to do it. This is just how to do it, man. Voila, and Android 14 is back onto the A21s. This is how to yeah, fix it or even upgrade uh, your A21s from stock 
to Android 14. Yeah, a big thanks goes out to Nippon. And uh, in my next video, I'm going to take a look at my other phone that in fact is as well running Android 14, but then via DSU mode with the unlock bootloader, but uh, without twerp and no root. So a temporary install of Android 14 on this phone that I'm booting up right now. Um, so yeah, check my next videos out as well if you did not subscribe subscribe to my channel leave this video a thumbs up because i'm sure that it helped you to upgrade your a21s or maybe fix uh, your twerp so you got your system partition system root partition back um so yeah good luck with your a21s and you'll be seeing me in the next video again uh, thank you for watching and as i said if this video helped you out don't forget to leave it a thumbs up and to share it with your friends that have this phone as well see you in the next one and i wish you all a fantastic weekend